My name is Trevor Lawrence. My name is Travis Etienne. My name is Cornell Powell. My name is Jackson Carmen. My name is Amari Rogers, and this is my path to the draft. draft. I chose Clemson because I thought they had a unique culture and high level of competition, and I felt at home there. You know, we won championships. At the same time, we gave back to the community. We went on uh, micro internships. So I did everything. That's why I chose Clemson, because of the opportunities and the people there. Um, I knew that I was gonna get a once in a lifetime opportunity to better my life. Clemson is the, the best place in the country for multiple reasons, but for how they prepare us for life, not just for football. So I'm super excited for this next chapter. My Clemson experience was amazing. Uh, I feel like from day one, you know, I enjoyed it. I achieved a lot of my goals, you know, and I also grew as a player and as a man too. So I got everything that I wanted out of it. And just coming in here, being a little kid, not really knowing much about life and just leaving here with the two to succeed. Uh, like Coach Sweeney always saying, just having Coach Elliott in my ear each and every day, uh, just really challenging me to be a better person, better man. And uh, this transition, I feel like it just really helped me uh, just being with Coach Elliott, uh, just having him in the back of my mind when I'm doing stuff outside of here. So uh, I feel like I just coming to Clemson really helped transform me uh, into a great man. Right now, with the NFL draft process being so busy and hectic and foreign because of COVID, I feel like it's really important to be able to take small and little times to be able to step away and really let my brain and my creative mind just go to work and be able to use it as a form of therapy and as a creative outlet. So I feel like music has always been there for me, something I really enjoy and something that I feel like I'm good at. Throughout my life, I've overcome a lot of adversity. Upon getting here at MJP, I had surgery, and currently I'm far ahead of my pathway to be able to recover and be fully prepared for the NFL draft. As far as staying positive, I think just the people around me and the way that I'm able to look at it from a different perspective and know that this is my way and that this is my path and that I'm going to be all right and I'm glad I'm going to take care of now early and now I know how to strengthen and how to work around and how to ultimately use this to make me better. I'm so excited for Jackson man I know that guy's a warrior he battled a lot of injuries and, and never complained uh, always grinded uh, became a leader he transformed his body he transformed his life um, and it's just, it just shows by his field of play, you know. Um, but he's also a great guy, and he's, he's probably the most talented, athletic, big guys I know. Man, that guy's a jack of all trades. Yeah, that's my dog. Uh, you know, he's definitely one of the most intelligent players that I've seen on the field. His football IQ is amazing, uh, and I love that about him, how smart he is, and he knows where he needs to be at all times. You know, he's a great teammate, too. You know, it's like my brother. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm very happy for him, and, you know, I know he's going to do great at the next level. Jackson, man, we've been close ever since we got to Clemson, and really just can't tell you how much I've learned from you and um, your experiences and, and the things you've had to deal with, the ups and downs and all the challenges. And uh, I'm just grateful for your friendship. Whoever's getting Jackson is getting a guy that works extremely hard, who's unselfish, um, and honestly, just a great person and a player. I feel like Trevor is just like a light to everybody. Ever since he came in, he was really just like, did everything the right way. And I feel like what's most impressive with him is not what he does, but how he does it. And I feel like that really just speaks to him, his circle, his family, and like the people around him, and how he was raised and how he thinks. I'm really just happy to see him be able to do what he loves. What is it we're looking at when we look at Trevor Lawrence? They tried to tell us about Trevor Lawrence, like way back. He's been dealing with trying to be the best quarterback and dealing with that limelight since he was 16 years old. That's a lot. A lot to live up to, for sure. This 14-year-old has the potential to be one of the top quarterbacks in the country for the class of 2018. Ultimately, it would be to play in the NFL, but I mean, that can't always happen. So I want to get to college and then get my education and then see what happens after that. Here's what I want y'all to know about this guy. All my years of recruiting, he's top three 
most low maintenance recruits I have ever dealt with. Made his mind up over a year ago, said, uh, Coach, I'm coming to Clemson, and it was over. He's a kid that really just understands the limelight and what's going on, so he's ready to, to step up into this big stage that he's, he's been ready for since he was 16, 17 years old. I think that's what really just makes Trevor so unique. What's the number one thing that's allowed Trevor Lawrence to live up to this hype? This is a kid in the high school was 52 and two, led his high school team on a 41 game winning streak. The winning continued when he got to Clemson. I think as a franchise quarterback, we can talk about the physical, but the mental and the intangibles, that's what he brings to the table. With the rush coming, finds T. Higgins, touchdown. That kid cannot be 19 years old. <laughs> I mean, he looks like a 10-year NFL veteran. I mean, he looks like he's been there his whole life. I think what Trevor Lawrence has shown this year is not only the game that is developed on the field, but his leadership ability and all the things that are necessary to really handle responsibilities of being a franchise quarterback off the field. One thing that has separated Trevor Lawrence from everyone else is he understands his role. He knows from the shoulders up football as well as the shoulders down. It's an awesome opportunity when you can get a, a franchise guy here and know that you're set for the foreseeable future. I don't know that I've ever seen a head coach standing front row center five yards away talking to that prospect's head coach in college the entire workout, but such is the case with the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Urban Meyer, right there. Well, the first thing about Trevor Lawrence, the first time I've really seen him up close and personal was at the playoff game. He is a big cat now. He's six foot six. So he's big, but he's also fast. He ran away from a linebacker I knew that runs four or five or, or faster. So, the, but the number one responsibility of a quarterback, and I've said this since I recruited quarterbacks and coached them, you have to earn the respect of your teammates. What I get from Trevor Lawrence is an individual that knows what he can do, that's very, very confident in what he can do, and he's going to do it his way. And I respect that because he has a resume that says it works for him. We've got five guys going to go in the top ten. One that's going to hit. My hunch is Trevor Lawrence, who's a mega town. There's no such thing as a sure thing in the NFL draft. But Trevor Lawrence provides the closest thing to a certainty we have seen in a long time. Training for the draft has obviously been a little bit different. Um, I haven't been with teammates and friends and, and all those things, so I definitely miss that aspect of it because you know football's a team sport, and I'm so used to being with with guys that are that are friends, and we become really close, and it's just you know it makes it a lot of fun being with those guys every day. Obviously, soon I'm going to be on another team, and I'll you know meet more friends and, and coaches and teammates and all those things. But just getting ready for the next phase of life, going into marriage and uh, being on my own, and just navigating that has been. Um, has been fun and has, has, has had some challenges as well. Obviously me having to get surgery, that's kind of changed my plan and, and routine out here uh, in California. It became a lot more mental for a few weeks and sitting here today, I'm five weeks out from surgery and it's, rehab's going really well. I'm getting a, a lot more mobility in my shoulder and I'm starting to do more and more as far as workouts go and I'm gonna actually start throwing next week. Really excited and, and anxious to get back going on that. I, I miss. I miss doing that for sure, and being able to practice ball. You know, that's that's the most fun part. It's been very mental for me the past few weeks, and just trying to learn everything I can, soak up a bunch of knowledge, and um, honestly, just preparing for this next phase of life. There's a lot of different moving parts and things going on, and um, just getting ready for it. My message to anyone out there that's aspiring to be an NFL player or to have a great college career, or whatever it may be would just be obviously uh, to work hard. That, that's a given, you can't really get anything in life uh, cheap. It's gonna take hard work. And then beyond that, I would say just have fun and enjoy, enjoy the little things, enjoy the small moments. His work ethic, his demeanor, his leadership, all those things really drive him. You know, he treats practice as, as such a game. And with that mindset and with his talent level, his skill set, you know, it, he has no ceiling. Being at Clemson prepared me really well for the next level as much as any school could just because of the competition that I faced every day. You're practicing against the best on offense and defense and just seeing that look each and every day not only prepares you for the games on Saturday but also in my position now about to go to the next level. I'm sure it's still going to be a, a step up but uh, even, even there I'm used to practicing against the best so it just makes that learning curve even, even smaller. You know the ultimate competitor. 
uh, I love practicing with him. I love playing with him because you knew that you're going to get the best out of him every single play. And Trev is Trev. I mean, Trev been a pro since he got here day one. So there's not much I have to say to Trev, but Trev, man, just continue to be great. All my life, go. been grinding all my life. Go. Sacrifice, hustle pay the price. Want a slice, got to roll the dice. That's why all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Yeah. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle pay the price. Want a slice, got to roll the dice. That's why. Everybody's path is different. But at the same time, I feel like mine was worth it. It took a whole lot of hard work, a whole lot of dedication, a uh, whole lot of faith, and it got me here today. So I'm happy that I stuck it out at Clemson and I'm glad to be here. It's just really crazy how I've seen Carnell grow since I got here. And I mean, it just a total transformation. How, how tough it was for him at first and for him to be able to stick through it and, you know, almost have it a thousand yard season, uh, you know, that's amazing. Uh, just be able to uh, compete with him in practice and you know push each other in practice this season I feel like that's why we had the season that we were able to have. Training down here in Fort Lauderdale, uh, preparing for pro day and combine, it's very different than training for in season uh, with your team. You got to be self-motivated. You got to be come out here and uh, want to be great. You got to be willing to come out here and dominate the day. You got to be self-disciplined. You're just grinding for what you love to do. All my life. Grinding all my life, sacrifice, hustle pay the price, want a slice, got to roll the dice, that's why, all my life, I've been grinding all my life, it look like I'm just gonna keep on getting rich. Ah. Amari Rogers breaks the tackle and gets the first down and much more, he may go, Amari Rogers. You know, everybody knows how I came back fast, uh, and I feel like that really is what took me to the next level of my game. Is how I, I was motivated and got through, you know, that tough time. Because you know, now mentally, I, I don't think, you know, nothing can stop me. I don't think, you know, anything can deter me from what I want to achieve. Uh, so I feel like if I didn't go through that, you know, I would have a totally different mindset that I do right now. So I'm definitely appreciative for that moment. Four reps. Uh, I really wasn't even. I didn't even know I was gonna get 24. I was. I was, My goal was 23. Uh, so I got 24, and I was. I, was, I just got a rhythm. I guess it was just a drilling, but I got a rhythm, and you know, I hit 24, and it, it's special. I mean, I didn't know I was that strong to be honest, because I, I never hit over 20. <laughs> Amari, his work ethic. He's a grinder. Uh, he's not gonna say much, but you gonna. You're gonna see it in his work. You're gonna see it in his uh, his body, the way he carry himself. He's a professional uh, in every sense of the word. And you know, with that mindset and that grind, that that effort, that attention to detail that he has, he's gonna play for a long time. Uh, his work ethic is just contagious. I feel like he really pushed me through this process. So I'm just very grateful, Amari, and I feel like that bond that we have will last a lifetime. So man, just continue to be special, man. I love you. That's my guy, but when he has a teammate with him that knows and been with him for a long time, he does amazing. You know, we were together like almost every day, so, you know, that really grew our relationship a lot. And, you know, just being able to work with him and, you know, push him, uh, you know, I feel like that really is going to stick with him. Yeah, everybody get that work done. Uh, training regimen, uh, we'll wake up, get a uh, speed session in in the mornings, and we'll get lift in the afternoon, uh, Monday through Saturday. And uh, we just did that for like eight weeks, honestly. And uh, so it was kind of just like just grinding, man, just knowing what you have in store, so. We have that. Like a couple more, you know. Sitting on the basketball court. That's why I sit it, man. Catch rebounds for LeBron James. Slight work. Jungle, man. They ain't tigers for no reason, man. Every day in the jungle with <laughs> yeah, really. You already know. I'm here uh, supporting Amari Rogers, you know, teammate. I just want to come out here and see him kill it. Just want to go out there and just showcase his skills. You'll see me at Pro Day. I uh, definitely want to get out there and just save my little showcase for the Clemson fans. I just crossed another over, tell them God up. Double tap the button up on the key, the car gon' start up. I lost the members at an early age, it let me start up. Chop a gang to bandit sticks and drums when we march up. Cross the nut, the over tell me God up. Double tap the button up on the key, the car gon' start. By the slide, you know, or give me a good protein shake. Get some protein in me. 
I'm trying to get my body like Amari, you know, get a little bigger, you know. Uh, I'm a fun-loving guy. His friendship, his loyalty, he's such a, a fun-loving guy. Man, you just you just can't say anything bad about him. So uh, whoever gets him on the next level is just going to be a blessing for them and their organization. Just love to be around people, love uh, just being, being in the presence of around others. I mean, uh, anytime. Uh, they're just having a great time, uh, genuinely having conversations and talking and getting to know someone. Uh, I love that. Uh, we went deep sea fishing. Uh, it was a great, great, amazing experience. I mean, I'm just very grateful. We're going to fish out front, meaning right outside of Fort Lauderdale, down in the Pompano Beach, maybe uh, Hillsborough Inlet. We'll see what happens. So we got the seas on deck. We only do original. Never flavor, just original. Typically, we're on the smaller tackle here early on in our trips. I know it seems like it should be an all-out battle between our superior human muscle and these stupid fish. But some of these bigger fish are going to make you pay. Travis the fisherman. Damien, man. That's my cousin, my first cousin. Mason Williams. That's my day ones. Hey, it's a weight game. It's a weight game. That's all it is, it's a weight game. Go, Cap, go! You want that up! You want that up! Turn that handle, turn that handle. Turn that handle. Turn that handle. Cap. He's burning it down, Cap! Burning it down! <laughs> I don't even know what I do. I got him, Cap. Oh, you got him! We're gonna be here a while, Cap. We're gonna be here a while. Listen, I'm the pro here. I'll tell you when you're tired. Well, oh, that's about two plates. Oh, he, he took 135. So come back, regroup, get some more seeds. One hour later. And I won't take all the credit. I had a team around me. I don't know what I was expecting. But it wasn't this. Well, we had a great day of fishing. Uh, see some dolphins on the way back, which was really cool for me. Uh, caught a hammerhead. We have a hammerhead right there. So I feel like there was like kind of a guy we like Coach Sweeney would say. And I mean, definitely gonna be back soon. Definitely gonna catch me one, no help, none of that. Try getting one by myself uh, in the near future. Travis, I just want to tell you how fun it's been getting to play beside you the past three years. Um, obviously, your talent speaks for itself. Uh, everyone, anyone that watches you can, can see that, but it's just been fun getting to know you. You're definitely a different person. You're unique and um, don't ever change, and that's, that's one of the best things about you. So um, just, just glad that we've become friends over the years, and whoever's getting Travis is getting a guy who's obviously a superstar and, and very talented, but who's super unselfish, and really do, he'll do whatever it takes uh, for the team to win and for the team to be successful, and I've seen that over the past three years. He's never been selfish, and um, I think that's one of the best qualities you can have.
out here and got to showcase our skills, man. 32 NFL teams forever blessed for that, man. It was an amazing opportunity with all my guys one last time. It went really well. Uh, we're finished now, so next step is a draft. To my future team, are you going to get a winner? One that leads by example. Loves to compete. And always going to be a light in the locker room. Uh, I'm going to bring great energy every day. Someone that can be a face of an organization for, for many years. I'm ready to not only dominate in the NFL, but help my team win the Super Bowl. I will be a Clemson Tiger. I felt around the people and the individuals. Like I said, not the players. It was a great time. I like the recruits, who they recruit. You know, like Trevor Lawrence is a great guy. Uh, I think I called them. It was around Christmas, and uh, they were at a Christmas party. So they were all together, and I called Coach Sweeney, and they all like freaked out. So it's cool. <laughs> Um, graduating from Clemson, man, it's just such an honor, you know, especially for my family, you know, to have me graduate. I know I made my mother proud, and that's really all I uh, sought out to do. You know, seeing her smile when uh, she came this morning and just see me in my cap and gown, man, it, it like, it put a feeling in my heart that, like, you can't describe. First of all, I'd like to thank my family, my friends, my coaches and teammates who's been there for me uh, through the whole recruit process, and uh, I love you very much, and I thank you very deeply. Uh, second of all, I'd like to thank God, because without God and his blessings, none of this would be possible. But without further ado, I will be committed to Clemson University.